Hey my groovy girls, before this vlog starts, I basically just want to give you a breakdown of what is ahead because this vlog is about us traveling New Zealand and I haven't really seen that many people I know or follow at least that are traveling New Zealand and I had absolutely no idea what I was getting into. I just knew that we wanted to go there. So this was all very new to me until I came across Kiwi Experience, which just absolutely changed the game for traveling. So with my job, myself and Emil were very lucky to get gifted the bus passes for this journey, but everything else you see in this video, including accommodation, excursions, food, that was all fully paid for by ourselves just so you can get full transparency from this video. So how it works is you basically get a hop on hop off bus pass which is completely flexible for your desires and your schedule. For example a Mills cousin lives in Auckland and we were lucky enough to experience some of the North Island with her. We went to Waiheke as you can see on the screen right now. Highly recommend by the way it is such a beautiful place. But the South Island we had absolutely no idea about like I didn't know where to start. So we asked Kiwi for some advice and they put us onto the Southern Roundup trip which do you know what it was perfect. Like, like it was everything crammed into one that we wanted and it really helped us get our journey started. You can start anywhere and also finish anywhere. So entirely flexible, which was our favorite part. The Southern Roundup heads up the coastline from Christchurch instead of cutting straight over to the West Coast. This way you see all of these incredible places that I'm gonna put on the screen right now. So firstly, we have Cape Cora. We saw so many dolphins there as you will see later. We then go to Picton, the Abel Tasman National Park and its famous golden beaches. Just you wait for the footage of that, by the way. Literal paradise. I wish I had longer there. So if you are watching this video and you're gonna do this Southern Roundup, definitely book more days in Abel Tasman. Then you head down south to Westport, Franz Joseph, Wanaka and Queenstown. Wanaka is also another place that we didn't stay over, but a lot of our friends did. So maybe that's also something you could, you know, put into your itinerary. But there are so many options to book. You can also do one to two day tours if you are traveling, you know, New Zealand by yourself, but you want someone to take you to Milford Sounds, for example, or the Bay of Islands. If there's a lot of you going, you can do smaller intimate tours or if you just prefer that anyway but me and Emil we just wanted to make friends as well and that is the main thing about Kiwi experience you meet so many people literal friends for life. Another great thing to note is you can change your dates of travel and limited amounts of times for no fee at all which is just so insane especially if you're solo backpacking you know you fall in love with the place and you meet some friends you want to stay longer. And with the seven roundup that we did it's a minimum 11 days of travel so we did the minimum because when you fly into New Zealand you have to have a ticket out of there already booked before you end so we'd already got our Brisbane date and we didn't really know what we were gonna do So we booked onto Kiwi Experience and did the minimum days possible as I stated before there is a few places that I would have loved to have stayed longer and I feel like we did fall in love with New Zealand But we also have an East Coast tour coming up, which I'm also so excited for it's just in a few days So that is also a reason to book with Kiwi Experience It is a very last-minute thing But you can also plan in advance if you're you know that kind of person I normally am but this whole traveling trip I have not planned ahead and it's been pretty great I'm not gonna lie. So in regards to accommodation you can book your own so you can stay elsewhere and it will give you options you know like suggestions to stay. We had a few of our friends on the bus with us that did stay in like more nicer accommodations with a private room. However we actually found that staying in the recommended hostel that Kiwi Experience you know puts you on to that you book through them was so much better because you're then spending all of your time with the friends you've made on the bus and believe me you will make friends. It's physically impossible to not make friends on the Kiwi Experience and it's just so nice to share your time with them because you know it's short-lived you only get a certain amount of time with them until you all part ways i'm gonna stop blabbing on now and let you get on with the video but if you have any questions at all definitely leave them down below i'm also gonna leave kiwi experiences links down below if this sounds like something you'd fancy doing i cannot recommend enough there really isn't another tour company in new zealand that you can go with either i feel like kiwi experience just is the one and hopefully i can encourage you to come and visit this beautiful country but if not just sit back and enjoy the video and take in the views We first visited Emil's cousin and guys look at her cats. They are so freaking cute. So this is Milo and Luna. Just listen to this purr. I just wanted to take these cats everywhere with me. Milo. <gasps> hey. We then got the ferry from Auckland over to Waiheke and we spent a few hours there. It was such a gorgeous day. Get up the boys. Eyes are open. They were. She's 
I love you. No. <gasps> 10 out of 10 would recommend. And look at this butterfly that was on the beach. It's just so pretty. The rest of our time was literally just spent paddle boarding on the beach and catching up with some family. And that basically concludes our Auckland trip. We didn't really do too much. From here, we got a flight to Christchurch to start our journey with Kiwi experience. And we began in Cape Cora. I had a dream last night Did everything I'm ever do in real life I stepped into a room, told everyone to be quiet Cause I had something to say, blew everybody away And wear whatever I want Dressed in a gown, everybody's like, why are you going nowhere special? Just going to the store, I think I'd have it all, tell you why I'd be more Picking the plate, being the plate, she is unruly Never seen her like this, didn't think it existed, no truly Don't get in the way, she's not in a place, she'll get moody But don't mistake this girl for being me Cause these are dream rules This is someone else I'm not myself, no, no I'm really hoping you can hear me because the wind is pretty rife but we have landed please for this vlog can everyone just like be really lenient on my pronunciation Emil's cousin has tried to teach me the correct ways to say everything but I'm very forgetful so I'll just try my best we were supposed to go whale watching this morning however the weather was like really really windy I think it was like 45 miles per hour so they cancelled it but then literally just after it got so beautiful like there is still winds but the sea isn't choppy anymore or anything so kind of getting but we'd rather be safe than sorry uh, so now we're literally just walking into town to just have a little look around have a little mooch and hopefully get some food later Problems disappear. She could tell you the things you want to hear. She could read your mind and then she could laugh of a little lie. So tell yourself it. Booyah. 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 One day she looks fit, one day she looks buttons. <laughs> yeah, guys, the uh, thing I've realised for travelling is the more days that go along, the worse you look. And <laughs> you don't even, even care. I look sexy if you do that. You don't care either, though. It's not a thing that you care about. <laughs> <laughs> Today we got on our bus from Kaikoura to uh, currently in Picton. And we're going to go to Nelson on the same bus, different driver, and then also go to Abel Tasman today. We only arrive at like 5 pm, so we can't do anything like canyoning or anything, which is a little bit annoying, but it's completely fine. Apparently, it's just, you know, a very beautiful place, so I'm very happy that we even get to see it. There's going to be like 28 people on our bus today, whereas at the minute it's pretty empty, which isn't a bad thing. We've made some friends, haven't we? Yeah. So. I'm they're actually wine, going along the whole way with us as well, which is nice. Hot, 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 hot. But we're just going to try and get a drink from somewhere. I am looking pretty worse for wear, but do excuse me, I've been on a bus for nine hours today and there were supposed to be stops, but basically last night in the winds, some of the line cables collapsed. So like there was a lot of delay in our journey. So we didn't actually get a lot of stops today, but I just wanted to show you the room because we are finally in Abel Tasman 
and the room here is so much nicer than the one in the last hostel i'm just going to be brutally honest with you guys mainly just because of the beds um i find the metal beds really like what's the word like we were sat on the top and it felt like i was going to tip over flimsy yeah, is the word. the word but now we have wooden ones which is pretty nice and it looks pretty sweet in here i won't show you the other two beds because obviously they're not our beds and just out of respect for the people that are in here so these are our two bunks this is all of our stuff we've just made actually some food and we had a dinner this is literally just carbonara pasta with some lamb and pork sausages and mushrooms so that's also lunch for tomorrow after this we're gonna go have some drinks with tim and kitty we met them on the bus and i think that's my favorite thing about kiwi experience is that you do just you know get pushed into these situations where you meet so many people and even though you may only be with them for one day it is still you know a friend for you traveling especially if you're solo traveling and as i said in the other vlog <laughs> i can't even do my job okay It's actually so pretty. It's already started rising, I'm quite shocked. Wow, this is so beautiful, what in the world? Mm -hmm. 